a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another vintage collection figure review. We've got Shea Vizsla, the re-release version from this year being 2022. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the original version to compare it to it being, being in storage. Um, but yeah, this was a absolute must have given how much the original sort of card figure goes for. Um, so yeah, really, really happy to get this one. I did get two, uh, one to keep in the box, um, just cause I really love the artwork is uh, VC 101. And uh, yeah, a couple of other figures from the gaming greats, Lando uh, from Battlefront 2. Um, I'd say it's more so from the end of Solo, but if that's what they want to promote it as. Uh, so yeah, I will be ripping this one open. Um, once they showed images of Shea Vizsla's updated head sculpt, uh, given the old one, just really, really wasn't that great. I just I kept the helmet on all the time, pretty much. Um, but yeah, this one is going to display nicely eventually when I, I get a setup again. Um, and I'll keep the other one, keep the old one with the uh, helmet on and this one, uh, you know, without the helmet. But yeah, really nice artwork, really nice looking figure. Let's crack it open and have a look. I oh know that's sort of sacrilege, you know, ripping the card off like that, but that's how I roll. Like I said, I bought another one to keep box. So. so yeah, like like the original figure it does come with these flame attachments. You know they're you know quite bulky, and they've only got the tiniest little sort of stem to uh, plug into the figure's gauntlets. So they tend to dro sort of droop over time a little bit. Um, but yeah, probably probably a good prop for like toy photography or something like that, as opposed to like full on. Um, display options, unless you're going to, uh, you know, spin it around every every week or so, just to sort of stop them from from bowing and and sort of flopping, I guess. But yeah, really nicely done. I do like the flame effects. I think they look good. We do have her helmet here, which, not unlike the original, is still a really nice piece. Looks good. You know, it was a swap out head, which is great. I much prefer them to uh, the helmeted, loose sort of rubber helmets they do with some of the figures. I much prefer the head swap. So get her out and take a look. The jetpack has sort of unpegged itself, but it sits on there well. I could be wrong, I don't remember it having the hose, but that could just be me. Might be thinking of another figure, but um, yeah, I don't really remember it having the the hose over the shoulder, but I could be wrong. I just remember thinking the the hair was too big on the old figure. This one looks great, really good likeness from the Old Republic game. This would make a good um, Mara Jade as well if you wanted to do a little bit of customizing. Like given that her hair is probably, you know, sort of cut to shape around her armor, you know, it's probably the only downside from making that happen is that, you know, it's very much sort of molded to fit this armor. Um, yeah, so you've got a couple of pegs there, just gotta make sure it's actually on camera. So yeah, you can peg them in there. Yeah, you kind of see what I mean, like she's a, She's not a super thick figure, it's, you know, she's quite like, slender. Um, and yeah, you can already see that starting to happen. She sort of go on top and have her hand give it a little bit of support there. May buy you a little bit more time, but um, yeah. I still love this armor though. It's really nice. Old school Mandalorian. She's just badass in that, that initial trailer that came out for Old Republic. Breaking into the uh, Jedi Temple. She does have these blaster pistols, which looks nice. There's nowhere to really holster them. Um, I do remember trying to do this. Um, 
I should go and get the link to my original Shea Vizsla review and put that in the video description. If I do, keep an eye out. Um, I'll try and remember to do that. You can sort of see how far I've come in the last, you know, 10 years of reviewing Star Wars toys. But yeah, the guns are a little bit sort of on the rubbery side. You know? um, so they're not super easy to put in our hands. Especially not in front of a camera like this. Um, so we'll save that for afterwards. But yeah, I'll show you the head swap with the armor on. The helmet. So yeah, still a super awesome looking figure. She looks great. Awesomely detailed piece, honestly. Like... And paintwork's done really nice. Nothing really, nothing really off that I can pick out. Um, it all seems to be pretty nicely painted. But yeah, I, I honestly really can't remember this hose being on there. But <laughs> and knowing me, it's just because I haven't looked at it in a long time. over the shoulder that looks cool all right i'm gonna put the other head back on there we go here we have shea vizsla from the old republic expanded universe no longer canon but still awesome all right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you on another video very, very soon. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. That will be great. And uh, subscribe if you haven't, if you got this far through the video. Um, thank you very much, and may the force be with you always.